First, let's talk about right about now. You can actually see that flag blowing there over in southeast Austin. This is our Howdy Honda weather camera. We actually have a very thin layer of cloud cover out there, for the most part relating to mostly uh, foggy or mostly overcast conditions, continuing to see a little bit of early morning patchy fog possible here and there. Those current temperatures, though, in the 50s, upper 50s to lower 60s for a whole lot of us. Marble Falls right now, you're at 58 degrees, 59 in Dripping Springs. Again, we've been mentioning here in Austin, we're going to wake up a whole lot more mild for your Sunday morning, and we are hitting that 62 degree temperature right on the nose. That's close to where we should be for this time of year for the afternoon high. That really gives you an idea on how unseasonable our Sunday is already panning out to be. To compare those temperatures just 24 hours ago, talk about a very drastic difference. This time yesterday, we were actually closer to about 46 degrees. This is a good 10 to 15 degrees warmer out towards our southern counties. You guys are waking up 20 degrees warmer. So yeah, give that jacket a break. You can go ahead and just kind of let it hang in your closet, but you're going to need it later this week. We'll tell you why here in just a bit. Those uh, windy conditions still kind of hanging around with us. I'm going to call it just a bit of a light breeze. They have been picking up anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per, uh, per hour. Sometimes a slight gust will pick up as well, but it's all leading to some warmer air in place. That gust is still coming in out of the southwest and it will continue to drive in from the west southwest throughout your Sunday. Now, one thing that we're having actually a very hard time picking up here on their satellite and radar are those overcast skies. It's a very, very thin layer of cloud cover. You'll see it once we approach sunrise and once the sun does rise, it breaks apart that cloud cover. It's very easy to burn it off. And that's why even any light patchy fog, once that lifts off and burn, lifts off and burn off as well, then you're going to be looking at a whole lot of sunshine and a whole lot of warmth in place. 82 degrees, guys, is what we're aiming for today. We actually nudged our high temperature possibility down just a degree or two from yesterday, but we still think it's going to easily climb its way into the 80s. We've been stressing that this uh, record high for J uh, January 31st in the past is actually at 83 degrees. So we're going to be very, very close to either tying it, potentially breaking it later this afternoon. That's a that's a record that's been standing for over 100 years. It was last set back in 1911. Overnight into your uh, Monday morning, we're kicking off the week. Again, still on the mild side. I do think it could be a few degrees cooler than what you're dealing with right about now near those lower 50s for a whole lot of us. But still, Monday is going to generally be a mostly sunny and mild day. It's not going to be until that cold front arrives later in the day, mainly into the overnight hours into your groundhog day. That's when temperatures are going to gradually cool on down, and that's when you're going to have to dig the jacket back out much cooler temperatures by the middle through the end of next week.